was a fucking vault here. Got some C4 on. Oh, there's another cry of French buggy. Oh my god. Is it go? What's going on Gourmet Gang? In today's video I'll be showing you how we raided our Arc Nemesis, Greed. If you've been following the stream the past few weeks, this guy's been talking smack for weeks. He's been killing our dinos. He's been a general douche, so the time come last week to blow his doors off and ruin his life. So stay tuned guys and find out how it all went down. How do I am? <laughs> so basically we used a parasaur to locate his base, flew it around Valguero where he just happened to be located. We come across a few different bases and when we found the one that belonged to him, then we calculated our approach and struck when the iron was hot. As you can see, we found his gate, swapped over to Orbital just to see what he had inside the base, see the layout, and then it was time to get the C4 going, and blow that motherfucking door off. These wild animals are pissing me off, man. I won't let that motherfucker. Once the door was off, it was just a case of soaking the turrets to begin with. So we sent old uh, Roger, big rock golem in, to get the job done. Yeah, what gig is it now? Uh, old Rexy's or whatever. I think it's Rexy's actually. Called Boss. Yeah. Boss 16, Boss 13. Also just tried to shoot a few of his teams just to see whether any of them were aggressive. A few of them were. Fucking dark as well. Oh fuck! We happened to have set a fob up already though, so... Oh. That took care of any of the dinos that happened to have been unaggressive and jumped out towards us. As you can see here, the one thing that did happen to me that wasn't to plan was this particular Bloodstalker, which happened to be a bit of a problem, as you'll see. So well done, Creed. Your dino earned its keep with this one. Horrifying Bloodstalker. Little bastard. <laughs> Yeah, so then it was just a case of setting fire to all of his plant X, so we could see a bit better, had less things attacking us. Just proceed with draining the turrets until we had access to his base. So it was just a matter of time, really, with him being offline. It's a bit of a scummy move, but he was a bit of a dick. Oh no! Thanks, hey, baby. Just had, you know, take care of the last few dinos, draw everything out, anything that was unaggressive. Before we were able to make us move. Lovely meat. Right, that was it. Turrets were off. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Front door's off, man. It's all open. Rockets have been sent in, blown up the generators, everything was down. And now it was just a case of picking through. Seeing what we wanted, see what we didn't want. Taking back the stuff that he'd stolen. And uh, yeah, claiming revenge. He tears our pecto bear shit, bro. Oh, there's a fucking vault here. Got some C4 on. Oh, there's another cry of French buggy, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, once we got in, we felt a little bit bad because he wasn't the most set up, but it was more to make a statement because of uh, how much of a pain in the arse he'd been. 
you know. So there wasn't going to be a foundation left over. And then it was just a case of eliminating all of his dinosaurs. Bye, Kreese Dinos! Yeah, boy! Gigas did the trick, as you will see now. I'm black back with meat. Fucking stuck on the rock golem. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, in the end, it kind of felt like bullying, but considering the person we were raiding, it was justified. Yeah, all that was left really then was to clean everything up. Chomp all his shit to bits. Uh, you know, we really didn't want to leave him with anything. He's that kind of guy. We deserve to feel the wrath of Stoke Cakes. And then all that was left was to make a sign. Let him know we'd stop by. And that was that, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Share it around if you fancy. And if you haven't already, drop me a follow. It'd be much appreciated. Until next time, guys. Take care, everybody.